back out. All right. It is vlog 198. Two away. What are you pushing me for? Because it's fun. <laughs> Stop it. How do you feel? Good. Yeah? I was on fire. You're always on fire. Every type what, of kick. What did you not do? Yeah, that's probably exactly it. Her she was just out for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, she's rocking. And we ended up with weights after we had done a full class of cardio and kicks. Nice. It was insane. Nice. Uh, I just rode the bike for about a half an hour. Uh, I burned about 260 calories. That's pretty good. That's good. Yeah. So now we can go and get our, um... You only did the bike? You didn't do weights? No, I did weights too. Oh, all right. Yeah, I always do that. Well, you didn't say that. There's a cop behind me. I gotta turn this off. Okay, it's about, about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm headed up to Ventura, which is about an hour north of Malibu. I'm going to the studio of designer, car designer Mark Sternberger. We met at the Peterson Museum about a week ago. He's invited me up to his studio to check out some of his cool stuff. He, uh, an amazing designer, uh, Swiss born, does, has done some incredible stuff. So I'm headed up to his place, but before I do that, I gotta go to CBS and pick up some stop leak because I ran over a nail yesterday. No stop leak. Just gonna have to fill the tire up. Keep my fingers crossed. Okay, good to go. It's been a long time since I've been up to Ventura. I actually grew up up there in Ojai for about, I was up there for like maybe 12 years as a kid. Very good friend of mine named Mike, who is uh, still a good friend of mine. And we caused a lot of trouble. You know, we did a fair amount of stuff because you get cooped up uh, in a small town and you think of things to do, trouble to cause. And this being the day that Star Wars is uh, coming out, the uh, premiere is tonight over in Hollywood. And Mike and I used to take what was called the scat bus from Ojai down to Ventura. We would go into the toy store. And it was right around the time Star Wars opened. And we were so enamored by that movie. There were so many toys. There was way too many toys that you could buy as a kid. But we pretty much spent all the money we had on the bus, getting down there, and rarely ever had money to, uh, to buy the toys. So one day, you know, Mike just decided he was just going to go in and get what he wanted. And it was one of those stores where the cash register was at, at the back of the store, not at the front of the store. So it was very easy to walk in, pretty much grab whatever you wanted, and then walk out. And that's what he did. And he comes walking up with all these toys. And I was like, oh my God. And, he, and he, he turns to me and he says, I'll be right back. And he goes back and he does it a second time and brings a whole bunch more. And then goes back a third time and actually asks for a bag. And they gave him a bag so we, we could have a bag to carry all the toys. Now, I don't recommend this. This is bad because had we got caught, uh, we had gone to the pokey big time. We were 14 and that would have been bad. But, uh, you know, we did some things like that. I, I supported a lot of bad things. And then Mike supported a lot of bad things that I did. But we'll get into those later. It's certainly not as bad a story as, as a couple that Kathy has. Kathy has one in particular having to do with, with stealing meat, you know. And then and she went to the pokey for that. So I'll let her tell that story later on.
We're in the uh, at the design studio of Mark Sternberger, who is, uh, has always been a great influence on me. I thank I you for that. I hope a good one. Um, in many ways. Uh, so uh, Mark invited me up to his studio, and there's some incredible artwork up here that I'm going to show you guys. And you had a weak moment when you actually came up here? I did. Well, I actually got lost. You did? I was driving around in Ventura, I got lost, and I, I just ended up here. Oh, you so, had your uh, GPS upside down? And I just knocked on the door, and there you were. Your, your influences, who are some people that, uh, that influenced you when you were young, designers or? Mm, you know, um, the French always in, uh, influenced me mm -hmm. they, because they were different. They just didn't want to do the run of the mill stuff. Yeah. yeah. Not always uh, success, uh, successful on the market, but um, no, it was not a really good question. It was more the product, you know, the, the automobile stuff. Okay, but and there was two cars that you loved the most? The Cadillac. And caddy and coupe. No, not the coupe, the convertible. The convertible. Right. The uh, actual project right now is for a, a Swiss museum, a car museum called the Pantheon. It's in Basel. Um, very exclusive, uh, comparable to the Mullins here in, in Oxnard. Um, but they they have people with lots of money. Basel is the uh, headquarters for the pharmaceutical uh, you know, uh, industry. Therefore, there are a lot of people with money, and they want their special car. Based on this, the under the, the, the engine, the, the uh, drivetrain, everything comes from this car. But we're putting on a new uh, body, and uh, these are some of the ideas. It's Ooh. not not um, very super modern. It's a little bit uh, retro, but uh, there are different stages of that, uh, different wheels. Beautiful. Uh, this one is the one they went for. I think I have a front view. Yeah, the front view. I think one of the reasons that I do like uh, design contact vehicles is it gives you more freedom. Um, you're not tied so much to, you know, can it be produced in mass, pro you know, mass production. So. Um, a contact vehicle, that's what I like. You can let loose a little bit. You have a little more freedom. Uh, and you know, each and every client is different. Some people, they say, here, you do it. Just give me the finished product. And then there are others who, like you said, they want to have their hand in it, their footprint in it. Very difficult sometimes to work together with them. But, um, you know, each and every con uh, contract, that's what I work uh, with, um, is different. I think well, there I might three just... Three things that you recognize that you're getting older, or, you know, losing it. Uh -huh. One of them is uh, uh, you find yourself telling the same a stupid joke over and over again to the same people. The number two one is you can't connect names and faces anymore. And the third one is when you tell the same old joke to uh, the same stupid joke to the same old people over and over again. Mark. Merry Christmas. That was awesome. On a car, whatever you we'll, have. We'll be back again. Or you come down to Malibu. Okay. We'll do car shows. I'm gonna heckle you. I told you already. Oh, I have, I have, I'm sorry. Uh, so not only with Kathy heckle me, but uh, I have, have Mark to heckle me. That's right. And yeah. don't forget to put this thing on it. Yeah. That's right. Truce. Yeah. Truce, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see anyway, you soon. It was a pleasure. Okay. All right, I had a spectacular time with Mark. That was really fun. He is such an amazing designer and an equally amazing person. Uh, I'm going to include, he, he gave me one of his books, so I'm going to include a link to that book and to his website in the show notes uh, so you guys can check out some of his stuff. Just really cool inspirational uh, work.
doing? Hey. Hello. Something smells amazing. Yep. Yeah. What is it? Vegan enchiladas. Ooh. Mm. I have I have corn and zucchini and ve vegan chicken and I don't remember what else. Everything. <laughs>